Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Odin's Movie Blog. I am the critic who is a cynic. Hope you're doing well, and today we've got some moving parts going now with movie theaters set to reopen sometime in June in some countries and sometime in July in others, with hopefully having some major theaters opening up here in the United States as early as July 1st. At least that is currently the, the, the most modern plan that we've gotten so far from the only major chain that's really given any indication of an official date, and that, of course, course is Cinemark. So Cinemark has given us a little bit of an update as we see here from article from Deadline.com. So Cinemark sets June 3rd for quarterly reports and update on reopening efforts. So by June 3rd, later on this week, we will have a probably, I would say, an official date for when they plan to release, seeing that a lot of states are currently in the process of reopening. We have a lot much more clear guidelines for what is expected of theater chains. And so my guess is that they will put a date actually on paper. They will start to probably sell pre-sale tickets for various films probably working out with theaters what movies are going to come back into theaters for a little bit before the release eventually of Tenet and also if any studios are going to plan to maybe move up their opening to try and get in those first week or two of the theaters reopening. We'll have to of course wait and see what actually ends up happening with that but this was updated earlier today and it says Cinemark will release its first quarter earnings and address Wall Street analyst on an earnings call on June 3rd in what will likely be a closely monitored status report on the movie theaters attempt to reopen. Earlier this month the number one, the number rather three U.S. theater chain had postponed its earnings report, as had top exhibitor AMC Entertainment, as it dealt with the full force of CV-19 closures. And again, obviously, AMC Theaters is hoping to reopen sooner rather than later because they are bleeding money. They were in a financial strait long before everything that happened with the beer bug. Now, of course, they are trying to get the ball rolling a little bit more, but Cinemark has been the only theater chain that I've been able to see that's really put any actual dates. You know, most people have been saying, you know, sometime in June, sometime in July, at the very latest, trying to reopen for tenants, but we haven't really gotten any actual dates nonetheless. Cinemark execs in April said they anticipated being able to reopen in most markets by July 1st, booking re uh, repertory titles ahead of the July 17th opening of Warner Brothers Tenants. Uh, for what they mean by that, booking those titles, those are various titles that are already in their books, they're already in their libraries and so all they would need basically are digital keys from the studios to be able to play it. So that would be movies probably like Sonic, like Bloodshot, films that were playing in theaters when all of these shutdowns actually ended up happening. So showing those various films again, trying to say, okay, so we have these movies to show. It might not be the most exciting films. It's probably films that you've seen since you've been in quarantine, but we need to get the ball rolling a little bit to try and test things out, get the audiences used to the new ways that the theaters are going to handle it, everything with the guidelines etc. But again, July 1st being the date uh, at this point is still the date that they're looking to reopen, but we'll have a better idea come this week on June 3rd when they finally update everyone on what they are actually planning. And as I said um, earlier in the video, June 3rd likely will be the time that they make very clear this is the exact date we're reopening. Here are some of the movies that we've been in talks with the theaters and rather with uh, talks with the studios to reopen with. And here are our long-term goals and plans. Since we're obviously would be less than a month out from that time, they probably will end up having much more of an idea because there really isn't a whole lot of uncertainty left. I mean, obviously there's still a lot of uncertainty when it comes to where will things be in a next, you know, next couple of months? Will there be an influx? Will there be a decrease? It's really hard to really gauge those things. And so I think companies now are at the point where as long as they're following the guidelines, there is a basic understanding that they can continue to go forward, that they can actually have their businesses open so that even if there is another wave that the guidelines hopefully will be enough to be able to keep those businesses even in the wake of another increase in all of these various things. So that is, of course, here in the United States, but across the world, other uh, theater chains and theater companies are also starting to make plans as well. So Cineworld, which I believe is a UK-based company, uh, plans to reopen theaters in July, anticipates fresh cash from government relief programs, and the stock there soared 23%. Obviously, many companies across the world are hoping to get some money from the governments because, again, it was not their fault that they had to shut things down, and in some cases, they were forced to shut down, and so therefore, making up for any lost income because of that specifically and not anything else would just it just makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, shares of giant UK exhibitor Cineworld soared 23% Thursday as it confirmed plans to open theaters in July when it currently expects restrictions on cinemas will be lifted in each of its territories and said it anticipates a cash infusion from the government with new loans. Subject to this restrictions being lifted in confirmation of the schedule for film releases, Cineworld anticipates reopening all of its cinemas in July. So again, no exact date on that yet, but it's really nice just to hear that there are theaters across 
across the world that are indeed planning for July to be that month. And again, it looks very good for Christopher Nolan's Tenet to be like one of the first major releases after all of this has happened. And what I'm hoping is that enough people have confidence enough to go to the theaters again that it is such a huge success, more so than maybe even they, they anticipated, even with lower numbers, uh, imagining that they're projecting lower numbers because obviously a lot of people will be afraid to come back to theaters, but I'm hoping that it's enough for them to say, ooh, Tenet's obviously showing that people still want to get out of the house and go watch a movie on the big screen. I know that's at least how I feel. Not everyone on this channel in the comment section feels the same way, but I know that there are a, a pretty big chunk of people that do feel that way. And so there, 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 of course, is the plans for the UK to open in July. And French cinema is actually looking to open even a little bit earlier, which is interesting because France was one of those countries that was very heavily impacted by all of this. And it was kind of the epicenter of Europe of the you know huge influx of cases so it's really cool to see them talking about these things so francis cinemas to reopen beginning june 22nd restaurants bars beaches from june 2nd amid this ease so francis movie theaters will be allowed to reopen june 22nd prime minister edouard philippe announced this evening this earlier this is earlier than expected as french cultural minister frank Reister said this week that cinemas were eyeing a July 1st restart. The decision was made in concert with the industry, Philippe said in a televised address, in order to allow exhibitors and distributors to organize concerted national campaigns. Social distancing measures will be in place, though Philippe did not elaborate. So again, this all makes a lot of sense because you have to be able to give movie theater chains and the studios enough information so that way they can kind of plan things out in advance. Say, okay, knowing that this is the time that we'll be allowed to reopen, here are the restrictions, here's what numbers that we can expect that will tell us you know what movies do we release do we release our bigger films to try and drive more people to the theaters or will the cut in revenue uh, kind of offset that and, and make it not worth putting out a new release uh, that quickly out. So again, having these moving parts work both in France, the UK, and of course also even here in the United States with Cinemark because there are various states that have allowed theaters to reopen if they follow certain safety measures. But the major chains, of course, AMC, Regal, and Cinemark are obviously in a very different situation because it is a national corporation. And so therefore the decisions have to be made at the top and they have not allowed really any theaters to reopen even in states where there has not been a major impact. So I know that for me, I'm hoping that at the very least, Cinemark, AMC, Regal are able to start get things open. I would hope sometime in June, again, sometime, I guess this month, depending on when you're watching this video, since this is the end of May currently, uh, because I know that I'm yearning to go see a movie in an actual movie theater again. Though, of course, I do want to make sure that everything is being done so that they can uh, have the best success they can and also that people feel safe. Again, whether you believe or whether, like, whether you believe that it's as big of an impact or as big of an issue or not really is up to you. Again, it's up to the individual person. However, a lot of people still are very concerned about this, and I think that they have a right to be concerned because obviously all of us are going to be impacted by various different things in different ways. Some of us are more susceptible to being impacted by disease. Others are not. And so for me, I know that I'm myself not concerned for myself, but I know others would be. So I'm hoping they're able to get all of their efforts and everything into play working together and a plan in place so that we can finally get to the movies once again, end of June, early July, and so that hopefully as many people as possible are able to see Tenet opening night on July 17th, as I know that I would be willing to drive to another state at this point to go see that movie. But what are your thoughts about this? Let me know your thoughts about anything I talked about in the comment section below. If you like this video, smash that like button, hit that subscribe. It helps out a lot. You're all amazing and beautiful people. Have a wonderful day, and as always... God bless. And now a huge shout out to my May Patreon and Subscribe Star members, Albertus Magnus, Animation Commentator, Brian P, Dion, Divex, Enrique Evangelista, Father Christopher Miller, hail to you, Father, Frank the Tank and the Shawhan Weeder Dog Clan, Harold Francis, the Hunker, Chunker, Funker Monkey, In Flame Wood, It's a Trap Productions, Jason Clark, Jeffrey Toon, Kenneth Cameo, Lady T, Laura Story, Mad Mitch Dunaway, Mike Jackson, Mr. Peabody and his evil twin with the beautiful hair, Orange Hat Reviews, Outpost Dyer, Out of Step with Reality, Riff Magos, Rosetta Allen, Steve Glasker, Teresa Martin, Theodore Benden, Tina Bojan, The DJD Show, and Tina B. Thank you all for being my Patreon members, and a shout out to my Subscribestar peeps, John B, Perpetual Punster, Robert Revo, Mr. Roy, Glinzer, G2 Cool 99, Darkstar 57, J. Alex McCarthy Jr., US 888209 Fast, Dean Heiss, Harold Francis, J. Rod the Beer Guru, Nevadon G. Adams, and ZK. Amen. 
and a special shout out to David Bobrizic and Edgardo Martinez. I'm going to leave that pause there just in case anyone decides to join for the month of May because you can indeed join on Patreon or subscribe start anytime this month to be eligible for any of the perks. They include access to an exclusive podcast that I do with John the Flick Pick of John Flickinger's fame. So make sure you go ahead and check that out at the $10 and up level. Also, if you uh, subscribe star or Patreon at $5 or up, you have access to exclusive giveaways of 4K movies, digital films, and a bunch of other stuff in between as well. And if anything you could at least give anything that you really want to help support the channel and it would really help me out a lot keeps the lights on makes me able to continue to do this kind of stuff so anything you possibly give check out some more information in the description of the patreon subscribe star and of course youtube membership links as well you guys are all amazing and beautiful people have a wonderful day and as always god bless